It's Eric Townsend, Live Lab at Intel. Got Chris Hubbard here. And today we're talking about, Chris, what makes up a business PC? We hear a lot of consumer PCs and versus business PC. What makes up a business PC? Yeah, I get asked this question a lot. Yeah. And um, there, there are definitely some differences there. Uh, even though the insides, you know, some of the computer chips and stuff are the same, um, there are some dramatic differences that can not only give you a different experience, but really end up costing you a lot more money in the long mm -hmm. run. So mm -hmm. you want to be aware of this. Okay. So the first thing is, let's start with the chips themselves. A business PCs tend to have more manageability and more security than a consumer PC. And what do you mean by that? What's manageability? What would what would be well, a technology? So the Intel vPro technology would be okay. the, the best example of that. That allows an IT shop to remotely take control of that computer, manage it, and oh, fix it. Okay. So on a consumer PC, you know, you maybe have one, two, or three PCs in your house, it's easy for you to manage them if you need to update drivers or if something's wrong with it, you go fix it. Mm -hmm. But if you're an IT shop and you've got 20 computers or 20,000 computers, mm -hmm. you don't want to have to go desk to desk. Right. So something like vPro technology built into a business class PC is going to allow you to remotely manage those, scale it out, do a one-to-many system management, and allow you to save a lot of time and resources managing your fleet of business computers. Okay. Beyond just the, the silicon aspect, there's the actual complete computer itself. And that's where a lot of differences happen. Uh, you know, first of all, the PC manufacturers will tend to offer a longer warranty on a business PC than on a consumer PC. Oh, okay. So three years is pretty typical. A lot of businesses only keep their PCs for three years. So mm. it lines up well. You buy a brand new PC and for three years it's under warranty. Mm. Something breaks, it's covered. Mm. You just bake that into your operating costs, and you know that if, as long as you're in that three-year year window, you're going to be covered. And then at the end of three years, businesses will tend to refresh. They get brand new PCs under that warranty. So extended warranties is another big difference. Because consumer, what, it's like about a year? Or yeah, usually a about a year for a consumer device. Okay. And so in a business environment, you know, two years down the road, yeah. these things are getting used every day. Yeah. Uh, so business PCs tend to need to be more rugged. So one reason why the PC makers are able to offer a longer warranty on a business class PC is because they make them more rugged. They'll, they'll put more bigger hinges on them that are, mm. are going to be able to handle opening and closing all day long. Okay. They, uh, they make them with removable batteries and access panels so that as an IT person you can get in there quickly, fix it, swap it out and, and get them back up and running. Okay. They have docking connectors so mm. that as you come back to your desk room meeting you can dock it and it'll automatically connect to your external monitors, connect to a keyboard, a mouse. A lot of those things are not available in a consumer laptop. Okay. The, you've got not only the, the system itself, but how about like software compared to like if I get a, 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 a consumer PC, the software in my house compared to what I have in my laptop works a lot different. Yeah, so uh, first example is going to be the operating system itself. Okay. Consumer PC is going to ship with Windows 7 Home Edition. Okay. Um, that's not going to have the enterprise level things like domain controllers allowing oh. you to log into your Windows domain. Um, so a business class PC is going to ship with a copy of Windows 7 Professional on it. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, the other software that's included will tend to be more of a business focus with, you know, a corporate environment or productivity in mind versus games and entertainment. And some people ask about on software like security, right? So we've got the, you know, like there's different levels, not only the option, but how about like for antivirus? and things like that. Is there other more sophisticated things when you come to business? I mean, when I get a my business system from Intel, it seems like they've got, you know, a lot of background things or things in the background so I don't screw it up, basically. Yeah, and that's, that's going to vary from your IT shop okay. um, and that software that they're going to add on there. But a business class PC will also tend to be shipped with... Um, a faster processor okay. and more memory, okay. knowing that IT is going to have a lot of background processes. And okay. so by beefing up the business computers, knowing that IT is going to be stealing some of those resources mm. to do security in the background, yeah. the end user still has a really good experience. Whereas a consumer laptop, more focused on price, mm -hmm. they may go with a lesser amount of memory, a slower processor, and then when you load all of those IT security and manageability tasks on there, you really slow down the system and the end user feels it. So with the business class PC, it gets you up in the performance curve so that you're still productive even while you're doing all the security in the background. Okay. So in summary, Chris, right, for everyone out there, we're thinking silicon, there's a little bit of a difference, right, on the, the chip. Mm -hmm. They said there's a difference as far as on, like, the physical attributes of it. 
construction. Construction, yep. and then software. Yep. Okay. So, folks, when you're out there thinking about, you know, man, what should I get from a PC perspective? When you're at work, you know, business PC, right? And um, if you haven't seen already, Chris did a, a solid state drive. A uh, great little video. Make sure you take a look at that. That's another benefit that you can get with business PC. So, Chris, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.